So if you could say your name and title. Uh, my name is Ariel Rubinas. I'm a marine biology PhD student at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and I am a research associate at the J. Craig Venture Institute um, as part of the Environmental Sustainability Research Group. Uh, what science are you working on right now, if you can talk about it? I study uh, marine microbes. Um, that includes phytoplankton, protists, bacteria, archaea, viruses, and how they interact with each other um, using multi-omic approaches such as metatranscriptomics, um, metagenomics. Um, one project I'm currently working on is, is utilizing uh, automated marine microbial sampler off the coast of Del Mar um, uh, over you know, a six month period. And another project I'm working on is, is uh, with global algae um, Innovations, which is a commercial algae farm, and we are studying the microbi microbiomes of their uh, ponds in an effort to increase productivity. We are definitely looking forward to your vocabulary list so we can break all that down. <laughs> okay. Um, teachers look for his vocabulary list. All right. Is that the science that you're passion most passionate about? Uh, I'm passionate about any science that has to do with like sustainability. Um, so that includes agriculture, um, engineering and design, and of course, biology. Um, so what I study definitely falls into that, you know, under that umbrella of sustainability, but I'm passionate about any sort of, you know, science that, that touches on that. Who has been an inspiration to you? It doesn't have to be a scientist, but it can be. Um, I think one of the biggest inspirations in my life has been my grandfather. He is 83 years old and he is still going to work every single day. Um, he probably works harder than any person I know, and he's just been a real inspiration um, to me and, 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 you know, pushing me to do what I love. What kind of high school student were you? Um, I was a good student. Um, I definitely goofed off a little bit um, and, you know, uh, had fun. But, uh, you know, I, I, I think I did well in classes, which, which is important. If you were able to give your high school self advice from your present self, like go back in time. What, what would it be? Um, take advantage of all the opportunities that are available to you um, and in high school and in college and after. You know, there's a lot of clubs, social clubs, things that, you know, you might think are boring or lame, but, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, cool opportunities that you will never, you know, discover if you don't try them. So, you know, make an effort. Okay, so here's my favorite one. You know it's my favorite one. <laughs> Two uh -oh. random facts that I probably couldn't guess about you and wouldn't be easily Googled until after we post this. I broke my right wrist twice in the same place in the last 10 years. Doing what? Skateboarding. <laughs> See? Uh, so that's, you can't Google that. What else about me can you Google? Um, Gee, this one, was, this one wasn't on the list. I'm not ready. Uh, <laughs> maybe I didn't copy it. Okay, another fact that you don't know about me that is hard to find. Um, you can't Google it. Uh, a lot of people think I, I'm from San Diego, that I've, I've spent my whole life in San Diego, but I was actually born in New York City. Oh, you're East Coast. You don't sound East Coast at all. <laughs> and I moved here when I was one year old. So, so people ask me, are you from San Diego? Yeah, I'm from San Diego. I've lived here my whole life. But, but the truth is I was born in New York City. So... Well, I would like to offer a fact that I know because I've been in classrooms with you that Ariel uh, graduated from Grant Elementary. That is also true. <laughs> Which is amazing. So teachers, um, Ariel's been in a lot of classrooms um, and he's really great with kids um, and very energetic and incredibly inspirational. So I hope you guys tap into him. Ariel, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you'd like to, like to say out there? Uh, no, thank you for interviewing me, Gene, and um, I hope I have the opportunity to chat with some students about cool science.